Hey, Edgar Sukhan Utopia here, and in this video, I want to quickly show you the different types of timers you can have. Well, three different types you can have on your uh, usually sales page, or maybe like a webinar sign up page, or there's uh, there's yeah, there's a few types of pages you can have on Funnel Utopia that would need those, uh, especially I guess a sales page. That's the first one that comes to my mind where there's a uh, some sort of a I guess an urgency element where uh, let's say you have a campaign until like a Tuesday evening or or Sunday evening or Monday midday or whatever your deadline is, uh, because a sig significant portion of your potential buyers, this is kind of like their trigger, their reason to buy this kind of like a, a fear of missing out. There's other reasons like, like more logical where, uh, they need to kind of like see what's, what's in the digital product. Let's say like the, everything listed out some, I, I don't know, like half the people will, will kind of be more uh, drawn into stories and like emotional elements, but this is like a fairly vital element as well. And, uh, it's not to be overlooked. Maybe, I don't know if it should be used every time I use it fairly often. A lot of marketers use it fairly often, but yeah, there's different ways you can do it. So if we take a look at here, add elements and under elements, there's three different types of countdown timers or timers, I guess. The first one will be countdown. The second one will be minute timer and the third one will be day timer. So you can just drag them in and kind of, uh, just, yeah, and then work with them. So I've already dragged them in I color coded them just so you can see which one is which. So first one is countdown. Second one is minute. Third one is day timer. So countdown timer. We look on the right side this works well if you have a specific date specific time let's say uh i don't know july 2nd 11 59 pm right you have a specific campaign specific launch that's when it works really well right you can you can either just set a time as as is or set a custom time if you need to be really granular like when i usually when it's like a the deadline is midnight, right? The specific day. Sometimes there's confusion. Midnight, what? So if I say Tuesday midnight, what is that? You know, sometimes there might be still confusion. So what I do is usually like, oh, Monday, 11.59 p.m. Eastern time, you can be even more specific over here. You can set the time zone. Then it's kind of more concrete, 11.59 p.m. They know what day it is. If you say midnight, there might be slight confusion which day it is. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. But you're, that's the usual time, kind of midnight in the time zone where kind of where you're located and obviously you have all the elements where you can change the fonts the colors all that right you can change the colors over here so that's that's going to be common for all three so i'm not going to dive too deep into that but you can look into those and also if you scroll down uh what happens right so usually what happens is you redirect people away from the site to actually make it a legitimate countdown timer right so uh let's say that whatever i mentioned july date or whatever it was once it hits, once the timer hits zero, you can redirect people to a page that says, oh, sorry, offer is closed, right? That's really common. Or if you don't have the time to create one, like that, it's, it's a fairly simple page, but you just don't have the time. Just redirect them to your, to your website or to your uh, full price page, right? Maybe you're running a 50% discount and once the timer hits zero, full price. So send them back to that page. And that's over here. Uh, redirect URL. You can put it in here. Uh, that's a really common one. The other one, show and hide element, would be more for uh, like, let's say uh, there's like a video playing, a sales page video or a webinar video. And uh, that would be more for the other two, but for this one as well, you can do it. It's just after a certain time, you can add in a new, a new element pops up. Let's say a button pops up after it hits a certain time. So yeah. Just use that as you as you wish. For this one, maybe it's not as common. It's more the redirect thing, but just keep in mind uh, that this thing, the the show and hide element, would be more common for one of the other two. I think it was this one. Yeah, this is basically they land on the page. Uh, let's say there's a video that starts auto playing, like a like a recorded webinar video, and ten minutes in the pitch comes, right? So uh, you know that you don't want people to see the uh, the actual sales page for like a $2,000 product, right? Before you've actually, they've seen the, the video. So they watch the video, they make it to the pitch and then the button pops up and they can go check out the sales page. So this is where the, the second one, the minute timer one could be uh, really useful. Let's say the pitch comes in at 22 minutes and 13 seconds in, right? And you can actually make this one transparent. If you don't want people to see it, just kind of hide it away. But yeah, you can set up the function where show and hide element and then a certain button maybe a headline just it can be a, several elements will pop up right under the video 
So that's another good one. And obviously you can do redirect to URL, which would be less common for this one, but still you can do it. Uh, it would also justify the, <clears throat> the timer being there. And the third one, day timer. So this would be more for, I guess, I think this was a daily one. Yeah. So like a daily time when it resets, uh, this would be maybe good for, uh, I don't know, for evergreen campaigns also. So let's go check it out. Redirect to URL, show and hide element. Yeah. So this could be like a, uh, like a, you send daily email campaigns or like automated emails, you know, after people sign up, they, they get taken through a chain of emails. And this could be part of that where like every day after a certain time, they get locked out of this page, but then the next day it resets. So that's kind of, that's how I would use it, but there's probably other re other ways to use it. Let me just quickly check whether there's anything. Yeah. Also the, the medium, uh, the middle one, the minute timer one, there's also a, a revisit action, auto expire for X days, auto reset timer, high timer and show elements. That's the classic one. Uh, auto expire for 30 days. This is cookie based might not work all the time because with the browsers kind of, you know, not supporting cookies as much like Safari and other browsers. Uh, this, you might have some issues with this one, but just kind of keep in mind, that's also one you can use where let's say the timer runs out and then for 30 days, they can't, you know, access the page because it's, it's, it will redirect them for 30 more days and then it will pop up again after a month, they can come back to the page and it will work. So that's, this is a little bit more advanced, uh, but keep in mind that <clears throat> sorry, that this might not work perfectly. So it used to work better than it works these days, but you can also try that out and see, see whether it makes a change. Mostly it's for sales pages and for webinars. It can be other stuff as well, but um, webinars as well. It can be a webinar signup page. Uh, like let's say until Thursday, you can watch the webinar, right? The offer is, will be up until Thursday, or it can be the actual webinar page, the video, at the recording of the webinar and then under the offer pops up. So those are kind of the three uh, versions of this that I can think of, but yeah, that's the short version. If you have any other questions about timers or anything else Funnel related down below 24 seven chat support, nothing has changed. Same thing. If you have any questions, let us know. I'll make sure to respond as quickly as possible. But if you don't have any questions, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.